kung ganito yung problem natin, itong number 6, we have the following solution. However, you will find that masyadong mabagal yung processing ng calculator if you will input this equation. And so yung gagawin natin, we can actually apply iteration to solve the value of i, which is from this formula. Now diba, we can actually isolate i dito sa kabila. And then we can just divide this by p such that we have i is equal to this expression. Now we have to rearrange i to be able to apply iteration. It must be the only variable on one side of the equation. Now ito na yung gagawin natin. Let's input the values. Diba, this is our a and then this is from our formula. And then itong x over 12, diba, that's i over 12. So that's why we still have 1 over 12. And then we just multiplied i or x. Kasi ito kasi yung variable ng calculator natin. We just moved it to the left side. And so diba, this was the principal value. And so we divided it here. And then ito na yung next na gagawin mo. Now yung sagot sa tanong dito is 24%. And so to input this, we have 10874.29 and then 1 plus x over 12. Just follow this one until you have this expression. Now first, press calc. And then for the first trial, input 1. And so ito na yung lalabas. Now after which, replace all x values by answer, delete, and then answer. Saka ito rin. Kailangan mong palitan lahat ng variables. And then after which, just press equals until the resulting value is more or less the same. So press equals and then equals, we have 0.259. Press equals, we have 0.249 until such time that it will approach a certain value. So press equals lang, again, and then repeating the process, you will find out that it will approach 24% or 0.24. Diba, that's 0.24 and then times 100. Ito na yung sagot natin. So this is one of the best ways kung ganito yung nature ng problem.